I say you. Welcome to the BBW Show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. Ah oh, man. Another bad day in WWE, you feel me? More of Triple H people have gotten fired from NXT, you feel me? This is this is nasty. I ain't gonna hold you. Like now it's kinda clear what they and when I say they, I mean Nick Khan. Nick Khan and kind of Vince McMahon, you feel me? Like, they is dead ass trying to, like, erase NXT. Like, the whole NXT history we had for the last eight years, they're trying to completely erase that, you feel me? Um, one of the, the last takeover, I think, take, TakeOver 36, they had Karrion Cross versus Samoa Joe, and then on the undercard, we had Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. All four of these guys are fired now, and that was, like, six months ago. Like, bro, it's, it's completely different, bro. I feel like part of this is because WWE didn't beat AW, respectfully. They didn't. <clears throat> and I feel like part of that is the fans, you feel me? There was literally fans that were saying that AW needs us to watch. NXT doesn't need us. And now look at it. NXT has completely changed to a whole different show. You feel me? NXT is nothing like how it was in 2019 or like the last eight years. The fans have something to do with that. I'm not going to lie. And then you see, like, everybody loves the Undisputed Era now. But it's like, the Undisputed Era was just on NXT when they was doing 600,000 views. Like, where was everybody that was loving the Undisputed Era then? But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the recent firings, you feel me? Um, Timothy Thatcher, he was fired, you feel me? I kind of seen this happening, you feel me? We never seen N a Timothy Thatcher on NXT 2.0. He, I knew he just wasn't going to fit. You feel me? Um, and if we being honest, Triple H didn't book Timothy Thatcher to his, to his greatest abilities either. One minute he was a heel. Then he was a baby face. Then he was fighting Ciampa. Then he was teaming up with Ciampa. Like, they didn't... They never capitalized on Timothy Thatcher fully with Triple H in NXT, respectfully. So I knew he was gone once, like... Once Vince McMahon took over... I knew it was only a matter of time before Timothy Thatcher got fired, respectfully. Um, Danny Birch, he got fired. Again, just like Oni Lorcan. Like, once Oni Lorcan got fired and they was making an NXT 2.0, it was only a matter of time before Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan got fired. You feel me? Um, they was a nice mid-card tag team. You feel me? They had one of, the, one of my favorite tag team matches with the Undisputed Era at TakeOver Chicago. Great match. You feel me? And then they had to run with Pat McAfee, where they was main eventers, you feel me? That was good for them. They, like, they can say they had a War Games match with the Undisputed Era. They can say that they had that, you feel me? Danny Burch is fired. Um, Gable Sapolsky, you feel me, from Evolve. He was somebody that Triple H was working with closely, very closely, you feel me? He's gone now. It's just like... Every, like, next, to, God forbid, the next person that's about to get fired, I don't think they're going to fire Shawn Michaels. But they're about to fire Jeremy Borash. Triple H brought him in. They're going to fire him. And we already know that Sky Too Hot, he quit. You feel me? Because of the firings. So it was like, they're completely racing NXT for the last uh, eight years. Now we at the three. These are the three biggest surprises from the uh, WWE releases. One, Samoa Joe. Your man Samoa Joe has got fired twice in one year. You feel me? First, he got fired as an announcer. They brought him back. Then, he he becomes a wrestler. You feel me? That thing with him and Regal, that was all. all I knew that was gonna make him a wrestler since day one. He gets injured in a Karen Cross match. I do believe he did, he did get injured. Or if he didn't get injured, he wasn't fully clear. They just needed him to beat Karen Cross for the belt. So boom. Samoa Joe gets the belt. He immediately relinquishes the belt. Immediately relinquishes it. Um, and then we haven't seen him again. So whatever it is, WWE does not want him wrestling. Like, they don't want him wrestling. And it's not even something like they want him, they scared he's going to go to AEW because they would just clear him and let him wrestle. They legitimately don't want Samoa Joe wrestling. And I kind of don't blame that because for like the last... I would say the last 8 out of 10 times I've seen Samoa Joe Russell, he has gotten injured. You feel me? When he was on Raw doing the thing with Kevin Owens, he got injured. You feel me? He got injured in NXT. 
Like, he does get injured a lot. I ain't gonna hold you, because he's older. But they should never fire him. They should never fire him. Um, I could see AEW picking him up, but Samoa Joe can't bring nothing to AEW, respectfully. He can't go in the ring like CM Punk and Brian Danielson can. Respectfully, he can't do that. He's a great promo, but how many great promos does AEW have? Like, I know they don't have no role for Samoa Joe and AEW. They don't. Another one, Road Dog Jesse James, you feel me? This was kind of surprising. First, he was on SmackDown when they went to USA in 2016. Then he got demoted to NXT, and he been in NXT ever since. Now Triple H is not on NXT, so Road Dog gets fired. That's kind of crazy. Um, news came out that Billy Gunn trademarked the term New Age Outlaws. You feel me? One of the best tag teams in WWE history. Um, I do not want to see them together, respectfully. I don't want to see the New Age Outlaws on AW TV. I don't. I think Jesse James Road Dog can definitely add to a TV show. He could definitely add to a wrestling show. Whether that be AEW, Impact, I'm not going to say New Japan, but he can add to a wrestling show. NWA, MLW, like Road Dog can add to somewhere, you feel me? He can definitely add to somewhere. And then last but not least, William Regal. This was the biggest surprise, you feel me? Another one. We have not seen William Regal since NXT 2.0 became a thing, you feel me? He didn't come out and do his War Games thing like he did every year. Like, it it, it felt like NXT 2.0 didn't need him because he was so much a staple of the old NXT, you feel me? But William Regal, like, you seen the superstars on Twitter, like, saying about it. Guys like Kevin Owens, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Mustafa Ali, Johnny Gargano. Everybody was respecting William Regal, gangster, everybody. Like, wherever he goes, he should be an authority figure. That's the one thing AEW needs is an authority figure. They do need one. Um, but I don't like AEW picking up former NXT talent. Like, I don't just like them signing everybody that was on NXT. It's too many of that. They got the Undisputed Era. They got Jake Atlas. They have um, a bunch of people from NXT. Malachi Black, Andrade. I don't want AEW to become NXT 1.0. I don't want that. But that's just my opinion. Those are my thoughts on the firings. This is definitely not going to be the last we see people get fired from NXT Triple from Triple H's NXT. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.